Hey guys, Alu Pop here. Today is my February 2018 wrap up. For this one, I read four books this month, so it'll be a little bit longer than the last one. The first book I read was City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I will have a review up for this one very soon, so I won't talk too much about it here. City of Bones follows Clary Frey, who is basically dragged into a world that she was born into, but doesn't know. While well, she is on the search for her mother. While I did enjoy this a little, I did have some problems with it, mainly that I found Clary too childish for my liking, and I just found it really hard to connect with either her or most of the other characters. Maybe it was because I wasn't a teen reading this for the first time, but I just found myself paying more attention to the plot rather than the characters, and that is something I don't generally do. I read. I just couldn't get behind most of the characters. In the end, I gave this a 3 out of 5. The next book I read was Treating Type A Behavior and Your Heart by Meyer Friedman and Diane Almer. It describes the differences between type A and type B behavior, how they correlate to the heart, and how it can be treated. I borrowed this from my boyfriend a little while ago because, as he said, I would probably find it interesting and, of course, he was right. I did find it very interesting. Very different from the sort of stuff that I normally read, which is alright. enjoy reading this stuff more now that I'm older rather than when I was still in school. I was still in school, of course, it just felt like schoolwork. Fortunately, because science is not my strong suit, a lot of the stuff did go over my head. I would probably have to reread it a couple of times to really get it. I give this a 4 out of 5. On the more political end of the spectrum, but still along the same lines of books I don't normally read, I read Charlie Foxtrot, Fixing Defense Procurement in Canada by Kim Richard Nossel. I had gotten this a little while ago in a Goodreads giveaway and had always been meaning to read it, so finally I just decided to pick it up. It is written in an essay style, which is fine, and goes a little bit into Canadian history. And I have talked a little bit about it in previous videos, but I don't really remember learning a whole lot about Canadian history when I was in school. A lot of what I know, I know from reading on my own time, which I do a lot more of now that I'm older and out of school. This book focuses mainly on the Navy and the Air Force, and unfortunately a lot of the names that are mentioned went over my head because I just don't remember it from school. This book also I would probably have to read a couple of times before I would really get it. For now I gave this a 4 out of 5. Today, staying on the theme of Canada, I read Canada Strange, Weird and True by Lisa Wojna. I re read this because coming off of Charlie Foxtrot, I just wanted to read something more about Canada. A lot of the places that are mentioned in this book are places I had already heard of and had been wanting to visit. I don't do a lot of traveling, but I am hoping to fix that one day, and perhaps I will go and visit some of the places that are in this book. I gave this a 5 out of 5. Those are all the books I read in the month of February. There will not be a March video because I only read one book in March. I may add it to April's video, I don't know yet. Oh, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me.